Well, obviously we didn't get off to a very good start. Um, the opposite of last night in the first period, but I thought team responded pretty well. Come out of that first period, only down 3-2, I thought it was pretty good. Um, looking at the big picture, because I didn't think we played well. And it wasn't just on the scoreboard, we didn't play well. Um, we really responded in the second period. I thought we were we competed hard. Um, we did the little things well, you know. And what we're looking for is our players to be, you know, more consistent with their effort. And uh, you know, we've got a good group of girls that are making plays consistently, working hard and doing things. But then we got another group that's kind of, you know, on and off. And so that's the one challenge for our coaching staff is to get kind of everybody going at the same time. So and you can see it's starting to come at times, but uh, even in a you know, whether it's looking at this weekend, identifying the six periods, or even in today's game, just, you know, from the first period to the second and the third, there was pretty good improvement. So the compete level's good. We're doing some good things. And just when we start scoring more goals, you know, all of a sudden we're giving up more. And so, uh, you know, the goaltending has got to tighten up, obviously, and do a better job for us. But, you know, it's a function. It, it starts in that, yes, because they're the last line of defense. But it starts with our defensemen and our forwards coming back. I mean, we talked last night, they scored a pivotal goal that was a two on five. Or if you count our goal, it was a two on six. We just can't let that happen. But, you know, and we talked about it in our meeting this morning. We watched video, and sure enough, they score a goal, you know, that was, was basically one girl in there on about three of ours. So, so we've got to just recognize, you know, some of those things that are some of our mistakes and get better. I think we will. We're getting there. And um, so, you know, it was frustrating, I guess, to, to come out with two losses. And especially today, I guess, when you had the, we had the lead um, kind of late. And um, they didn't have to work for the goals four and five. Maybe they didn't have to work for any of them today. We kind of handed them to them. So, and they, you know, they made us work for our goals. And so, uh, you know, just, 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 you know, take something from it. We have to break. Sorry about that. We got to recognize that wasn't me. <laughs> we got to recognize certainly, you know, our strengths too. You know, we, we don't want to dwell on some, you know, some of our inadequacies or our deficiencies. Just, you know, we got to recognize our strengths. We got some players doing some good things, and so, um, you know, now as we turn the corner on, these, you know, some non-league games here, we've got some big games coming up. So short term, we got Robert Morris for four points this weekend, and this we haven't traveled much, so this is. Uh, this is a tough weekend for us, just just physiologically, you know, the semester's dragging along, you know, and, and bearing, uh, there's a certain weight on the girls in, in terms of academics, and, um, you know, in the semester hockey-wise, you know, we're 14 games into the semester, so a lot of people are banged up, we got some injuries, so we're going to have to just get really uh, focused, you know, mentally and kind of mind over matter here going into this coming weekend. And then certainly we've got a flight and a long trip uh, during the Thanksgiving break. So going out to St. Louis. So, um, you know, a lot of good things and uh, you've got to tighten up uh, certain areas. But, I, you know, I, I think we have to look at the big picture. We've got a lot of young players in pivotal positions doing a lot of good things. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll just continue to, to work and strive for consistency in all areas.